Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, how's this for a start? EMPA, the Swiss Federal Laboratories for Material Science and Technology, has developed a new ceramic foam that could one day make the catalytic converter in your car smaller and more efficient. The catalytic converter is what scrubs your car's engine exhaust, converting pollutants like unburned hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide into water and carbon dioxide. The inside of a standard catalytic converter is regular, like a honeycomb. EMPA's innovation is to replace that honeycomb with ceramic foam, which has an irregular pattern and can catalyze exhaust gases more efficiently with a smaller surface area. Researchers at EMPA hope that eventually their ceramic foam will replace the standard honeycomb design, allowing car owners all over the world to drive cleaner vehicles with smaller and significantly cheaper catalytic converters. Next, researchers at the University of Finland have developed a technique to improve the efficiency of solar cells. By coating the cell surface with a layer of nanostructured black silicon, the researchers have been able to nearly eliminate solar energy loss due to reflection, allowing the cells to use much more sunlight than standard solar cells. The technology isn't quite there yet. Researchers are still looking for ways to make these solar cells more reliable and less expensive to produce. Nonetheless, this could prove to be an important step forward in the ongoing development of renewable clean energy technology. Finally, a rare stellar phenomenon has given physicists a unique opportunity to test the limitations of one of the most important theories of modern science. The rare phenomenon is a binary star system consisting of a pulsar and a white dwarf about 7,000 light years from Earth. The theory is Einstein's general theory of relativity. Precise measurements of the pulsar's emissions can enable scientists to determine and predict the rate of decay in the orbits of the pulsar and the neutron star. The scientists studying the system had hoped to see Einstein's equations break down to allow them to test alternate theories of gravity but even under the extreme conditions of the pulsar neutron star system, Einstein's equations held up. General relativity is incompatible with quantum mechanics, so there must be a point where it fails. Scientists hoping to test promising alternatives will just have to keep looking. Researchers in Switzerland work to improve vehicle emissions. Researchers in Finland work to improve the efficiency of solar cells. And astrophysicists from all over the world try and fail to find Einstein's fail point. That's the good news.